Ebola. That's what this video is about. I'm sorry I have to hold the camera in my hands again, but at least you get a good look at my beard. Uh, so, Ebola. <laughs> it's on the TV news. I'm chewing nicotine gum. Um, I got this new one out. Uh, this is cinnamon flavor. This actually tastes good. I don't want it to taste good. I want to... If it tastes good, I'm more likely to chew it. Anyway. So... Well, you were complaining about the other Yeah, well, the Ebola. Um, I wouldn't say I'm worried. Because, look, I mean, my wife and I have been around a long time. And... You know, like the other day I was talking about uh, Legionnaire's disease. Now, this Ebola seems to spread quite uh, relatively easily, although you consider all the people on the airplanes that didn't get sick. The My concern is that it reaches a particular point. Not just... Oh, see, that, that's... The two points here. One, that it reaches a particular point so far as the uh, number of people infected. Uh, and a different issue or a similar, well, actually, uh, if you go to who is infected, if you have medical personnel infected, that's going to spread that would spread it a lot faster because you think of all the people that go to hospital and go to the emergency room like where we live in order to go see the doctor you have to go to the hospital because the hospital and the clinic are in one building one side of the building is the clinic the other side is the hospital now they have you know all the doctors have their offices over in the clinic the thing is, if it gets into the hospital, because people go back and forth between, the, it's not really two different buildings, it's one building. And people go back and forth, it'll say it's one, one doctor or nurse or other staff member in the emergency room. And there was, there was something I saw earlier saying that they believe that CDC or somebody believes that it may actually be airborne. Now, my only issue with that is all these people on the aeroplanes, they aren't getting sick. At least we don't know about getting sick. Now, we're preppers, but that doesn't mean that we are prepared to deal with this. The best thing I think we could do is isolate ourselves, maybe take mega vitamins, mega amounts of vitamins. Uh, it's not like we don't have, you know, all sorts of medication here. Um, only medicine we have is the medicine we take. And I don't think any of that would help with Ebola. Um, so if a doctor, a nurse, uh, a tech, whatever, were to contract it, and then start spreading it to other patients. <clears throat> Those patients go home. They spread it to their family, friends, and neighbors. Other patients get sent up to a unit, and they spread it to other patients and spread it to other staff. So, I mean, the number of people in the United States right now that have it is extremely low. I think... It's only smart to say that you're concerned. I think it's only smart to be concerned about this because you look at what's going on in Africa. You look at the thousands of people that are infected over there and the number of people that are dying. So that's, I think we should look at that. Now, of course, they don't have the medical care that we have. They don't have the technology we have. They're third world. 
we're first world, well, for now we're first world. I think the United States is heading down the wrong road. But anyway, so be concerned, but don't worry yourself over it. We're not worrying ourselves over it. No, we're trying to keep abreast of what's going on. I, I've, if you're in an area where, you know, like these nurses and that and patients in Dallas, personally, I would not go to a Dallas hospital. Um, I just wouldn't. I think that's that's a fair precaution. But anyway, so Dukakis is on the TV. But anyway, so, you know, we don't live in a heavily populated area, which is good for us. And, you know, the time of year that, that you know, we're in, in the fall, um, when would you say the snow next month? Probably. Probably start snowing next month. We've already had some frost. What I'm point I'm getting to is people are going to tend to stay home, not go out. If the infection did spread, it, you know we have windows we can see who's coming. We have monitors that we have, not saying where, but we have them, so we can see people outside know who they are and so we can keep an eye on who's coming who's going but so anyway so I'm not worried but it's a minor to moderate concern that's you know, I mean, we're not around anybody that's infected that we know of. See, that's part of the problem with this thing. You don't know right off the bat you're infected. So you can spread it and keep spreading it. And, they, and people you infected can infect others. I don't know how long it takes before you start having symptoms. The problem is the symptoms are just like the flu. So... I'm not worried, but, you know, I think it's something we should keep an eye and ear out about because you just don't know. I mean, I, I've lived on three continents, and, I've, and I, I studied history, and I know that things can get out of hand really fast. And it wouldn't be the first time we've had a national epidemic in this country, a long way from it. So... Be concerned, but not worried. That's what I would say.